in this movie, I summarize the most important video features of the Flash Professional 8 version of the program. Not all of the video features I describe are available in the regular version, including a new encoder, the VP6, a new improved video import wizard, a standalone video encoder and batch processor, alpha channel support, which is also new to Flash 8 and Q points. Let me start off with the video codec onto VP6. Flash encodes video files using Onto Technologies VP6 video codec, which provides superior video quality using the smallest possible file size. I'll be talking a lot more about these codecs, both the Onto VPC and the Sorensen Spark codecs, in the various movies in the importing video section of the course. Flash's new import wizard here, which you get when you try to import a video file here. has been improved and helps you deploy video content for either embedding the video. Let me bring up a sample video here so we can see this. You can either embed the video or stream the video from the Flash communication server, from the Flash video streaming service, or progressive download from an external web server. So these options let you deploy video content for any of these delivery methods. I'll be covering these delivery methods in much greater detail later. You can also import video stored locally on your computer or a video already deployed to a web server. You'll do that here on the first screen of the video import wizard here on your computer or already deployed to a web server. You also have the new Flash 8 video encoder. This will vastly improve the workflow for anyone doing a lot of video, for example, video professionals. This is available only in Flash Professional 8. And with this tool, you can install on a computer dedicated to video encoding. So this arrangement lets you batch encode your video, allowing you to encode several video clips at the same time. Also, this will free up your authoring computer for other work. Let's say that you're working on Flash projects and you want to work on your FLA file in Flash 8 and you want to encode video on another computer using the standalone video encoder. The Flash 8 video encoder lets you edit video clips right here. If we go to the settings, and that'll bring up the Flash video encoding settings. The Flash video encoder and also the Flash import wizard lets you embed cue points directly into your Flash video FLV files. They're not available with SWF files. Cue points can be used during the video playback to trigger other actions within the presentation, letting you synchronize the video with animation, text, graphics, and other interactive content. I've set up some cue points here. Name, time, and type when used in conjunction with the new Flash Video Component FLV playback. That's the player that you can see. Let's close this and the FLV playback is this skin player that you can see here in my shockwave file. You can use this to coordinate the playback of a video clip with accompanying interactive content when those individual cue points are reached. For example, you can create a flash presentation that has video playing in one area of the screen while descriptive text and graphics appear in other areas over here to the side or above or below. Cue points cause the video playback to trigger these other actions in the presentation letting you create richer interactive content. Everything's queued up. In other words, when I get to this screen here, for example, maybe some music can start playing or a chart showing prices or other related information. And I'll be covering cue points in the section of the course covering the Flash Pro Video Encoder. And that will wrap up this introduction to the course. Let me now proceed to the next section with an overview of the workflow involved in capturing, delivering, authoring, and encoding a Flash video project.